All right, John, time to talk some Raiders, a uh, decision that actually we've been talking about for several weeks. You've been adamant. Nelson Aguilar's too good to keep. And uh, I hope I got my email from The Athletic on I guess maybe Monday or Tuesday. I open it up. Vic Tafer writing about it. Tafer predicted a four-year, $44 million contract for Nelson Aguilar with $10 million guarantee. He's a free agent. Yeah. Does feel like he's going to get more than $10 million after this year's performance. And he's played well before in terms of guaranteed money. My guess is that number's closer to 20 than 10. When you just look around the NFL, some teams that are on, like the Ravens, the Colts, so many teams could use offensive injection. And, and we've talked about 18 million guaranteed is nothing, right? For example, now Amari's a really good player. Uh, and we'll tell you about it, but subscribe to the page. Subscribe to the page. Like the video. <laughs> Podcast like that below in the description. Right Click on that link. Do it now. But Amari got $60 million guaranteed. Now, I'm not trying to say he, Nelson's as good as him, but like Amari was kind of an underachiever, also a first rounder. So, but, but my point is like $10 million to me is like that. Kickers get that. Like, I, I think that's low for a guy that's had several Yeah, he might be seasons. compensating for the, uh, for maybe a cap not coming down to 175 but maybe being like 185 or something like that. But I'm with you. I but the guaranteed but more. the guaranteed money you can amortize it over a period of time like 4 year 40 million dollars like that to me 20 million dollars is guaranteed. It's basically like a 2 year 20, you know, yeah, 10 a year. That's a pretty good deal. I think your number 18 feels good. But the point is this. He's too expensive to come back to the Raiders even at the first number. Right? So when you've drafted yeah, I, like I think it's, th- it's Rugs, it's Brian Edwards. Yeah, Tyrell and Williams, Waller and Jacobs. And Williams. I, Tyrell's done. Like, he, to me, he's getting cut. So, like, you just have to build it around, like, maybe draft another guy. You just can't. Once you draft a guy number 12 overall and a guy in the third round that's going to be good and already have a tight end and already have a running back, I just think, like, you just can't afford to pay him. Unless you could get, like, three years, $15 million or something, but... I just see no way possible that he doesn't get eight to ten million a year. But to me, it's the guaranteed money. It doesn't make any sense for the Raiders to guarantee a wide receiver like fifteen to twenty million dollars. Yeah, I mean, to me, the only way it makes sense to even consider it is if you've had a year of um, rugs and Edwards, and you think one, and you think you blew it on one of them, and you think it's a mistake. But this is the reason you draft these guys is to have cheap wide receivers on your team. Not to mention very talented, relatively cheap. You know, Ruggs, relative to the draft class, being the first guy drafted, was disappointing. Was it his fault? Was it their fault? Yeah. It was a combination of the things. But uh, the spot, they're not going to have as much help as they had this year. He's not going to have as much help as he had this year, which maybe it's a good thing. Maybe they're going to be forced to throw him the ball because they're not going to have other options. Because part of me just watches them thinking they just got to force the ball to him. Now, if I wanted to counter, they have had Aguilar on their team, and he was good, and they really liked him, and their quarterback loved him. And he was just... He was a big reason that they were an explosive offense, right? Think how many countless plays he was making. I mean, he, he was awesome this year. There's, it was the best season of his career. I know he had a good season in 17 with the Eagles, but start to finish, I mean, he carried this offense. They, when they signed Terrell Williams, they gave him kind of, you know, they gave him a four-year $44 million. They gave him $22 million guaranteed. But the oh, difference yeah, right. is they've paid they, it. Yeah, they've never had him. Right, he was a free agent from another team, and then they got him, and it was a disaster. He got injured. You had this guy, so you know him. I think sometimes these type guys are harder to let go. You're like, God, we love him. We don't. And I could see Gruden, like this is going to be a tough one for John. Well, if he's disciplined, you let him walk. If he's not, like, because I don't blame him for wanting to keep him and being like, let's just pay him. And when I say pay him, you couldn't give him the Terrell Williams contract. But I do think he could look at it and go, like, you need me. Well, what we just predicted he'd get on the free agent market is still less than what they paid Tyra Williams. Now, you're right. On Williams, the dead cap, I think, is zero moving forward. They've paid him his guaranteed money. So it doesn't make sense yeah. for him to come back. Um, but to, the other thing, to your point, is— Aguilar like, had eight, eight touchdowns this year. Well, and he was just—he, he, to me, was the most reliable guy. Ruggs was, was inconsistent, very inconsistent, and Brian Edwards was just hurt. And I really like – here's the other thing. Is I really liked Edwards when he was healthy. I thought he looked like he belonged. 
But well, he's a good player. Off, but right now, hurt. if you say you take Nelson Aguilar away, it's like, okay, well, other things have to be better because your offense just got worse. Yeah. You take him away. But that's where we turn well, to the pressure, then mounts, rugs. Wh- whoever's fault it was, you need a lot more from him, and you need health from Brian Edwards. One thing Aguilar gave them that, at the end of the day, just rugs did not, he averaged almost 19 yards of reception. His career high before that, was 12 and a half. He was such an explosive player for them. He was their deep threat in a weird way. Really right? Was. He and he had career highs in yards, in touchdowns. Like he was their deep threat. And now they drafted a guy 12 overall to be that. They drafted a guy when they draft rugs, to me they're thinking Deshaun Jackson, right? They they're thinking an elite deep threat. Like that's just that's what you have to be thinking to take that guy twelve overall. Right. But you don't take that guy twelve overall to not think he's gonna be a pro bowler. Yeah. And he's got a long way to go, and you need him and the quarterback to get on the same page. And this gets back to I can see where Gruden's like, Well, my quarterback's already on the same page with this guy. How much is he really gonna cost? I could see it being a complicated issue with Gruden wanted to keep him with Mayock. You gotta think big picture. It's a hard balance. To me, if they sign him and I'll understand it, I mean that's if Gruden was just the offensive coordinator on the team. You'd be pushing to re-sign him, right? You mean if you were Gruden? Well, if you just if you just put him as an offensive coordinator in a vacuum, he would not want to lose this player. Right, right. I mean, the touchdown he scored against Miami, that is an individual player making a great play, right? With hell, I mean, Derek would have made a great play, too. Didn't it? I mean, that might have been the high end of his plays, but it felt like he made a lot of plays kind of similar to that throughout the season. Oh, he did. Right? I'm just, just saying, making shit happen. I, 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 part of this, again, though, is if you're signing, if you're bringing him back, Part of that has to be you're thinking, is Ruggs what we think he is? And, I, I mean, you know, I would If you're having those thoughts now, it's a disaster. Yeah, but but if you're having those thoughts, it's like, well, let's not hope that he becomes something that we're all of a sudden concerned that he's not going to be. Because if he's not, and then you let Aguilar walk, now, now what do you got? Nothing. Yeah, your passing game is not near as good. So, but that's part of the draft. That's part of building a team is you draft guys for the future. Like, the Packers, good example. They drafted A.J. Dillon not for this year because they're not going to resign Aaron Jones. And Aaron Jones has been way better, like, for the Packers than even Aguilar was in one season. That's part of the business model. Right. And that's where I, I just – I'm going to be interested in to watch Gruden on this one. Yeah. But like, does he have the discipline? Because <laughs> I feel like he'd want to keep him. Because I know what they John need. John Gruden, I know, is going to want him. And you know what? That money He's on allowed defense. to pay. Yeah. I, I was told by someone with the Raiders we're going to spend every penny on defense. But I feel like they always say that, and then they do some uh, something else. Because, again, he's just I, – I don't I don't even blame him. He can't even help himself. That's his baby, the offense. And that's the one thing that's kind of good on the team right now. And he wants yeah. to lose one of his best players yeah. who, let's just say $10 million guaranteed gets it done. That isn't very much money. Like, if they sign him to that, I won't crush – I'd be like, God, that's pretty cheap. Right, but now he did. He just had forty-eight catches. Twenty's a lot. Yeah, tough one. Because then you're stuck with the player for two years, right? Ten, probably just be the equivalent of a one-year deal. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe maybe, maybe I'm overvaluing year. Nelson. Overvaluing him? How? I feel like I watched a lot of. Fo- well, just maybe he he's not going to get more than ten. But I feel oh. like I watched a lot of just football this year and thought he was. <laughs> I just know the way the market plays out. He's gonna his tape this year was excellent, and then they'll just blame like what happened the year before. Oh, Carson was nuts, you know. I think there are some <laughs> solid free agent receivers this year. Like Godwin is a free agent. Yeah, but to me, Juju. he's like on. He's going okay. Back, those going are the high. Yeah. But when I when I when you say Godwin, I think like fifty five guaranteed. Will Fuller, even Juju, forty five. Will Fuller's always hurt. To me, Aguilar, like, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good getting Nelson Aguilar in the teens guaranteed than I do would you want to give Juju 48 million dollars guaranteed or Nelson 12 yeah I mean if I was an independent I don't know I think I I don't know that I'd feel great about either one but yeah Godwin would be the guy who's going to get paid yeah 